वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल पी सी एम बी टूटोरियल्स वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग द पार्ट टेन बिकॉज इन प्रीवियस पार्ट बिकॉज ऑफ सम इश्यूज द वीडियो वॉज कट डाउन सो लेट स्टार्ट फर्दर वी वेयर अप टिल द वॉल्यूम ऑफ स्पेयर दैट इज फोर बाय थ्री पाय आर स्क्वेर एप्लाय द फॉर्मुला टू न्यूक्लियस एंड एटम we get that pi r cube sorry this is pi r cube now we'll put the values in this formula volume of nucleus means 4 by 3 pi and r means the radius of m radius of nucleus that is 10 raised to minus 13 cm whole cube Four by three pi into ten raised to minus thirteen whole raised to three upon upon. The volume of atom that is four by three pi into ten raised to minus eight whole raised to three. This and this will get cancelled, remaining ten raised to minus thirteen ka whole cube. That is, I'll write it like uh, in simplest form according to the indices rule. Ten raised to Minus thirty nine divided by ten raised to this minus twenty four. When a uh, base is same and it is in division, will subtract the powers. So ten raised to minus thirty nine minus minus twenty four. We'll get ten raised to minus thirty nine plus twenty four. and the final answer will be 10 raised to minus 15 this is the final answer i hope you have understood this question it was easy question you just have to take the formula and apply it in that and find the answer i hope you have understood till this then let's move towards another topic that is drawbacks of rutherford's atomic model drawbacks of rutherford's atomic model first drawback was that rutherford could not disprove the spiral path of an electron means according to the classical laws of physics a charged particle revolving around an oppositely charged particle should lose energy continuously so an electron moving around the nucleus should lose the energy continuously and hence should come closer and closer to the nucleus and finally collapse into it following a spiral path finally the atom should collapse but in practice this does not happen an atom is stable therefore he could not disprove the spiral path of an electron second drawback was rutherford could not explain the presence of lines in the spectrum note that the details of spectrum can be known in higher classes to you all now there is a small question based on this whole topic that is a moving particle should radiate energy continuously likewise a revolving electron should also radiate energy continuously and fall into the nucleus 
एंड एटम शुड कोलैप्स एक्सप्लेन दिस आंसर इज दैट The emission of energy is not continuous, but it is discontinuous. And electrons revolve around the nucleus in specified paths called orbits. These orbits have constant energy. As long as electron revolve in these orbits, they neither lose energy nor gain energy. hence it does not fall inside the nucleus and atom does not collapse after that there is the most famous experiment the most famous man that is max planck max planck क्वांटम थ्योरी क्वांटम थ्योरी थ्योरी सो व्हाट इज दिस मैक्स प्लैंक एंड दिस क्वांटम थ्योरी मैक्स प्लैंक कंक्लूडेड दैट इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक वेव्स दैट इज लाइट वेव्स behaved both as waves and particles he named this wave particles as quanta he named wave particles as quanta thus the quantum theory states that particles at the sub atomic level do not obey the laws of classical physics indeed such entities as electrons can exist as two different things simultaneously as matter particles or gas energy waves matter as particles and or energy as waves max planck's quantum theory also tells us how an atom absorbs or loses energy from a slightly opened tap the water is lost discontinuously in the form of drops similarly an atom loses energy discontinuously in the form of packets of energy each of which is known as quantum plural is quanta these packets of energy were called photons by einstein these packets of energy packets of energy were called photons by einstein max planck's quantum theory summarizes that an atom does not absorb or radiate energy continuously but radiates discontinuously in the form of packets called quanta these photons or quanta are present in electromagnetic waves the energy present in each photons is e is equal to hv so these photons or quanta are present in electromagnetic waves the energy present in each photon is E is equal to H V, where H is Planck's constant. H is Planck's constant, and V is the frequency of electromagnetic radiation in which the photon is present. 
frequency. H is the Planck's constant equal to 6.625 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule per second. 6.625 into 10 raised to minus 14. Sorry, 10 raised to minus 34. Minus 34 joule second. And V is the frequency of electromagnetic radiation in which the photon is present. Now there is a small question based. That question is what is the difference between a quantum and a photon? Answer is that any packet of energy is called quantum. Packets of energy that is called quantum. And the packet of energy of light is called photon. Packet of energy of light is called photon. These are the differences. I hope you have understood till this. In next part, in part 11 of this chapter, atomic structure, we'll learn about, starting we will solve two questions based on this formula and all this. And then we'll see the Niels, Niels Bohr's atomic model and then we'll move towards the postulates of Bohr's theory and then we'll end the 11th part. But till that I hope you've understood this 10th part. For any queries and doubt please join the telegram link given in the description of this video. Like this is the foundation of class 9th, we have covered the foundation of class 8th and 7th too. The links are given in the description, please go and check in the description. I hope you have understood till this, thank you for watching.